Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if your PowerShell utility is causing high CPU or memory usage on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'm going to do is open up the search menu. Type in CMD. Best match, come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. So I'm gonna have a couple commands in the description of the video. The first one's gonna be a system file checker utility scan. You can copy it and then just paste it directly into the command prompt window by right clicking on the top bar, select edit and then paste. I'm just gonna type it in because it's pretty short. It's just SFC and a space forward slash scan now. Scan now is all one word. Attach that forward slash out front. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. Begin the system scan. This will take a couple minutes to run for most of you guys, so please be patient. So now we're going to go ahead and paste in the second command I'm going to have in the description of the video. It's a little bit longer than the first one, so it's probably better if you just copy it just to be safe. And then right-click on the top bar of the command prompt window, select edit, and then paste, paste it in. It's a DISM command. Go ahead and hit enter. This will take, again, another couple minutes, so please be patient. Okay, so once it's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And then hopefully that should have resolved the issues you were having with PowerShell. So, as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.